When you think of Mumbai, what comes up to your mind? Chopati Beach, Gateway of India, and Elephant Caves. Now, the beach and Gateway of India are designated as tourist spots. But is the Elephant Cave a tourist spot where you can chill and do whatever you want to? Most of you would say yes. Well, you are not to blame. Many people still do not know the importance of Elephant Caves, and I will tell you exactly why the sacred caves are much more than merely a picnic spot. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national and socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan and in this video, I will tell you about Mahadev's beautiful Elephanta Caves and how they are being desecrated. The Elephanta Caves are cave temples dedicated to Mahadev. Essentially, they are a site of Hindu worship. Does anybody worship Mahadev inside these marvelous temples anymore? No. These temples have become mere tourist spots where a dharmic activities of the highest order can take place, where a dharmics can do about anything, and where nobody is required to take their shoes off even while standing close to the shivlingams. All of this while authorities taking care of the site will not blink an eye. They have a rather high tolerance capacity for nuisance and are more concerned about minting as much money as possible from the tourists. That show syncretism of Hindu and Buddhist ideas and iconography. Except for a few exceptions, much of the artwork is defaced and damaged. The main temple's orientation as well as the relative location of the other temple is placed in mandala pattern. The Elephanta caves are most common places. The Elephanta caves are most commonly placed between the 5th and 7th centuries. Did you know that the temples inside these caves were sites of active worship? until Portuguese colonizers set foot in India with an extremist form of Christianity in their hands. They established a base on Elephanta Island. The name Elephanta is also a legacy that Indians have carried over the incomprehensible and uncreative reasons. The island is called Gharapuri and there is an immediate need to refer to the caves as such. The term Gharapuri Leni is used by locals and that is what should be mainstream soon. What does a UNESCO World Heritage Site designation mean? It means that a monument or a city is a protected site due to its importance based on any of the 10 selection criteria including historical, cultural or architectural significance. The management body of the heritage site also gets generous funding from UNESCO which is the biggest socio-cultural preservation institution in the world. The thing with the UNESCO World Heritage designation is that it is centered totally on tourism. What the designation does is protect the cultural, archaeological and architectural importance of the location while also boosting tourism. One of the unintended consequences of UNESCO protection is extreme tourist development. And when a temple is reduced into a picnic spot, you have people doing what they like. Norms get blurred and people can come in wearing jeans, pajamas, shorts and other such attire. You are not left with a dress code. And while some devotees will wear traditional attire out of respect, not everyone will be courteous enough. Brihadaswara Temple, a Hindu mandir dedicated to Mahadev ship located in Tamil Nadu's Thanjavur on the southern bank of the Kaveri River too, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Today, it has become a tourist hotspot. Similarly, the Gharapuri Leni, also known as Elephanta Caves, are also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Anyone visiting Mumbai makes it a point to visit these caves not for spiritual, religious or cultural purposes, mind you, but simply for recreation and photography. These magnificent cave temples of Mahadev have been turned into a tourist spot with unrestricted entry and a spot where indecency has become an acceptable form of behavior. With people in the country becoming financially capable of boosting tourism, tourists are increasingly looking for new sites to visit. Tourists often end up searching for amazing destinations and what better destination to visit than our UNESCO World Heritage Site. Unfortunately, nobody is aware of the sacred nature of Gharapuri Caves. The stone carvings of Hindu deities too do not seem to affect tourists who walk around the caves with absolute contempt for tradition. There is an immediate need for Indians to read up the history of these pious caves and develop a sense of reverence which is fast becoming absent among them. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe to TFI English. Also, leave a comment and let us know which topic you want us to cover. Hit the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. This is Tribhuvan signing off until the next one.